Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint textures onto your model for the Blender game engine. This tutorial does require some basic knowledge of how to use Blender, so if you get somehow lost in this tutorial, because it is very simple, just send me a message and I'll help you out as best I can. Alright, to start off, you just want to start up in your normal Blender 2.61 screen. Up here, mine's already set to Blender game, but you want to change whatever you're on to Blender game. And then you want to click on here, you want to go down to shading and set it to GLS on materials. Now that that's done, you just want to delete everything off your area, interface, whatever it's called, and add a plane. Now you can scale it up to however big you want, you can add a little fancy subdivide it a couple times, you know, sculpt it a bit, whatever. It doesn't have to be just a plane, it can be whatever you want. Alright, now what you need to do is open up this bit down the bottom and you want to change this to UV image editor and you want to make a new image make it UV test grid and call it ground that's going to be our texture that we're going to paint onto okay so there we go now for this scene we want to add a lamp raise it up a bit and give your little plane a color so a new color here okay, there we go so now we're going to get into the painting part, so make this a little bit bigger here and go to your texture panel. Now you want to click an add new texture, go to image or movie, and click on this little button here and go to ground. Make sure it's set to mapping and make sure it's on UV coordinates. Oh, and um, don't forget to unwrap your little area thing, whatever, by pressing tab U unwrap. Okay, so now we're set up for texture painting. So go into your texture panel again and you want to add a couple different textures. They all have to be images, make sure they're all UV coordinates and just add any textures, it doesn't have to be anything special. See here, it's nothing that good. Oh, and just um, turn them off here because that's the only texture we're actually going to be seeing. We're going to be painting this onto here which then goes into there. So now just I'll add one more so you get the basic idea, you can add as much as you want okay um, oops. okay uh, uh, it's a good one uh, warning stripes Can use that one? okay down here, you want to make this a little bit bigger now down here you just want to press N and this will open up your little panel here you can close all these and go down to image make sure this the ground image is selected like by ground and go image image painting and then you get this little paint option here so now remember these two textures are called texture 1 and texture 2 it helps if you name them because it's easier to find them so let's just call it stripe red and stripe yellow. Okay, I forgot to turn this one off. Now, down here, you want to go down to your texture, click there, and there we go, stripe yellow. So now we'll paint here. It's over here as well, but it's kind of messed up. So to make sure it's all right, you have to go down to the texture panel and click fix texture. That way, it's a fixed texture and it tiles over nicely that bit bigger so you can see and over here you've got your little option panels so you can make it bigger um, strength more so there's no opacity more jittering effects it's kind of more random and then you can add another texture so you can add some stripes over this there we go so jitter makes it random all over the place you don't usually want jitter so paint a bit okay so yeah you get the basic idea of this. It's pretty useful, especially when you're creating terrain for a game and you just want to get a nice smooth fading effect from grass to rock or whatever you're doing. So yeah, it's good. Um, what you can also do is you can also paint the Blender custom textures like noise and magic or whatever they're called, like um, magic, paint that. So that was stripe yellow. Paint some magic. 
Uh, now to make sure that this saves, you want to go to image and save as image. So when you're done texture painting your model, your image, save as image and save it on your desktop, for example, call it whatever you want. So that way, um, there it is right here. You always have it, so when you save your file, you can always link it back to here. So hey, thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial helped you in your game.